Welcome to the fall 2018 commencement ceremony. Please stand to honor graduates, faculty, and administration participating in the ceremony. To avoid interruptions tonight, please turn your cell phones to vibrate. Thank you.
Chancellor Cerna, it's my privilege to convene the 100th commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Distinguished faculty, administrators, and staff of the university, graduates, parents, family, and friends, welcome to the fall 2018 commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. Please join music education graduate Kaylin Rhodes as she leads us in singing our national anthem accompanied by the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Symphonic Band. Will all men please remove their caps? their caps. I would like to introduce those seated on the platform. First, I would like to introduce the chair of the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees, Mr. Mark Waltrip. I would like to introduce the administration, academic deans, and others from the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, Dr. Georgia Hale, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Lee Crable, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, Dr. Brad Sheriff, Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration. Dr. Margaret Tanner, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs and Director of Graduate Studies. Dr. Ron Darbo, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Dr. Paul Hankins, Dean, College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean, College of Health Sciences. <laughs> Dr. Ashok Subramanian, Dean, College of Business. Dr. Ken Warden, Dean, College of Applied Science and Technology. Dr. Norm Dennis, Senior Associate Dean, College of Engineering, University of Arkansas Fayetteville, who will confer the degrees on those graduating with engineering degrees. Christopher Cluck, Chair of the Alumni Advisory Council. And Wayne Womack, Registrar. I would also like to introduce members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Board of Visitors. Michael Barr, Vice Chair. <laughs> Gary Campbell. Jerry Glidewell. 
Eileen Cradle, and Kathy Williams. Good job. We also have some special guests with us today. Would you rise and be recognized as I call your name? State Senator Frank Glidewell. And Fort Smith Vice Mayor Kevin Settle. Seated before you are members of the faculty who represent the academic departments of the university upon whose recommendation candidates for degrees are presented. Faculty members, please rise and be recognized. You may be seated. The success of UAFS relies on the hard work of its staff, many of whom are here tonight. Will the staff please rise and be recognized? You may be seated. We have several international students who are receiving their degrees tonight. The flags of their home countries are on the floor to my left. Will these graduates please rise and be recognized? All right. Congratulations. You may be seated. I would now like to introduce Dr. Don Bobbitt, the president of the University of Arkansas System, an academician, a scholar, and our educational leader, Dr. Bobbitt works hard to promote and pursue the mission and vision of education for Arkansans. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Bobbitt to the podium. Thank you, Chancellor. One of the privileges of my position of president is that I'm able to attend many such ceremonies as this each December and May. I have to tell you, I find each one to be meaningful and memorable. And I want to thank you, the students, you, the faculty, and you, the audience, for allowing me to share today with you. As the Chancellor mentioned, I bring you greetings and heartfelt congratulations from the entire University of Arkansas system. It's indeed an honor for me to serve in this role, and I'm thankful to the Board of Trustees who give selflessly of their time and their talents to the state to help run this system. Graduates, we're very proud of your accomplishments for having arrived at this important milestone in your lives, and I'll have more to say about that in just a minute. But there's another group that I'd like to acknowledge at this time for their role in your education. So on behalf of my faculty colleagues, both here and across the system, I'd like to offer our thanks to your families, your friends, other important supporters who have helped you to this point in your academic careers. I know later you will join me in thanking them for all they've done to assist you in your education. I do want to acknowledge the very strong sense of personal discipline and initiative it took for you to arrive at this point at this time. I know that in this room, there are many who faced almost insurmountable obstacles to get to this point. Some of you had the demands of a job while you were in school, some had to take care of family, and some even suffered personal illness or other tragedies. And yet, in spite of all these obstacles, here you are with a record of accomplishment that places you in the graduating class of 2018. I'm always lifted up at such events because I'm reminded of the resilient nature of the human spirit. So congratulations, graduates, and thank you for inspiring me. Your graduation today places you in very select company, both in the state and nationally, and your eff efforts represent great accomplishment. The very heart of your degree or certificate is a dynamic of thought and creativity that prepared you well to face the challenges that await you when you leave this institution tonight. But your education did not prepare you for your first job. It prepared you for every job. We are now in a, in a period of constant change. Recently, I heard Richard Miller, who's president of the Olin College of Engineering, give a talk as he sat last May on this podium, a podium like this one, and acknowledged the jobs that his graduates of his college would take when they left. He noted that the most common job didn't exist when those students started school. It did not exist. In fact, the Institute for the Future predicts that 85% of the jobs that today's students will do in the year 2030, just 12 short years from now, they don't even exist at the present time. So this, this is a very provocative statement, but consider that the now mainstream careers did not exist just a few years ago. Drone operator, social media manager, app developer, and cloud computing engineer. So you see, if you think about this for a minute, the world changed while they and while you were in school. And this trend continues. In fact, 
I think this change is going to occur at an even increasing rate. But as Charles Darwin reminds us, it's not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, but those who are best able to manage change. And because of your education in this institution, you are superbly prepared to thrive in this dynamic environment. Your studies have provided you the opportunity to search for truth, to understand intellectual challenge and honesty, and to be exposed to the very best ideas, both to the past and present. And most importantly, you've been given the skills to learn, to understand, to interpret, and to respond with intellectual flexibility, independent of the challenge before you. So in the weeks ahead, as you contemplate your time here, I hope you'll remember the faculty who were instrumental in your education and take the time to let them know that they made a difference. And second, I ask that you remember the help and assistance it took for you to get, to, get here, the, the, the help that brought you to this place at this time, and you give back to this institution to pave the way for those that follow. Very few, few of us can say that we did this all on our own, but actually we all stand on the shoulders of others. So join the Alumni Association, support your alma mater with its programs, and when possible, with your time, your talents, and your service. So thank you again for giving me the opportunity to share this day with you, and congratulations for a job very well done. And now I speak for this entire faculty when I say that we're proud of your accomplishments to date, but what we're really eager to do is to learn about the mark you're going to make in your profession and on society as you leave here tonight. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Dr. Bobbitt, and thank you to the University of Arkansas System Board of Trustees for giving me the opportunity to lead this great university. It's customary with commencement addresses to congratulate you, to tell you about how your life is just beginning now that you've graduated, and bestow some life lessons that you will promptly forget probably 30 minutes after it's over. Let's be honest. Instead, I want to do something a little different. I want to communicate to you exactly how extraordinary and life-changing the accomplishment we're celebrating tonight is. Contrary to what you may hear in the media, a college degree has never been more valuable. But I want to rattle off some statistics about earnings potential and standards of living. I want to briefly share with you the power of a college education in changing the trajectory of a family. I want to share with you my family story. My father was the first in our family to attend college. He was raised in a poor but proud Mexican-American household in El Paso, Texas. One of five children, he grew up speaking English as a second language. At the time, a good education in the Cerna family meant graduating high school, something he failed to do. Rather than attend college, my father left home at 17, joined the Navy, and served in the Vietnam War. But he had promised my grandmother that he would graduate high school and continue his education, which he would do. He eventually earned a college degree as an adult learner, balancing the demands of a full-time job and raising two boys with my mother. His decision to put in those long nights of studying after a full day at work would pay dividends not only in his own life, but in the lives of the generations that would follow him. Now, did he appreciate the immense impact that his decision would have on our family? Probably not. Did he know that his son would one day be addressing you as a university chancellor? Absolutely not. But this is the transformational power of education that can echo through generations. And as I reflect on this past semester, I realize that what makes a university work, what brings us all together on nights like this, is exactly that, the power of education to improve our lives. I have two daughters, the eldest of which just turned nine, and wants to be a chemistry professor when she grows up. And as I sit and think back on my family's trajectory and how it's improved my life, I think about that power of education in the glimpse of three different nine-year-olds spanning three generations of my family, beginning with my father living on a tight budget in a family where education was not the norm, me watching my father go back to school to better his life, and now my daughter growing up on a university campus and dreaming of being an educator. I think about just how vastly different my father's outlook was from my own daughter's, and I think about this chasm of opportunity that is closed through education. This is the change you have made in your life, and make no mistake, it's a change for the better. Whether you are one in a long line of family members to earn degrees, or if you are the first to complete college, 
you are continuing or beginning a legacy of educational attainment in your family that will be felt for generations to come. The younger members of your family will look up to you and see you as an example. They will see the life you lead, see your successes, and they will want that for themselves. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't remind you that education is a journey. Even at this point in my life, I continue to seek opportunities to advance my education, to challenge my thinking, and to grow. So in closing, my final advice to you is this, never stop learning. Never stop learning because it is the force that drives change and improves our world. Commencement speakers often end with some vague statement about changing the world. For me, that change is being a role model for a nine-year-old girl that she can be a chemistry professor, something that would have been unimaginable just two short generations ago in my family. I would challenge you to instill in the next generation a thirst for and appreciation of learning because the world can be changed one nine-year-old at a time. This is a fitting segue into our commencement speaker, a man who has championed education in our community and been a vital friend and supporter of this university, Mayor-elect George McGill. This fall, McGill will, became the first African American to be elected mayor in Fort Smith following six years of service to our area as a state representative. During his time as a legislator, he served on numerous committees and chaired the Aging, Children, Youth Legislative and Military Affairs Committee. In 2017, he became the Deputy Pro Tem of the House of Representatives. His accomplishments as representative include helping secure more than $1 million for the U.S. Marshals Museum, protecting higher education funding, and boasting a perfect voting record on legislation related to protecting children and families. McGill holds a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in business administration from the University of Arkansas. I have a deep appreciation and admiration of Mayor-elect McGill and all he has done for this city and region. Please join me in welcoming him to the podium. Man, this is something special. <laughs> Good evening to all of you. And, and I promise you, I know why you're here. And like Elizabeth Taylor told her eighth husband, I won't keep you very long. <laughs> uh, Dr. Cerner, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to speak to this wonderful graduating class. Dr. Bobbitt, it's always good to see you. And, and Mark, thank you for being with us today. It's a real honor when you have the opportunity to speak at a commencement ceremony. You have a room filled with family and friends, and you learn of the exceptional academic achievements and hear about incredible accomplishments in the face of hardships and adversity. And most importantly, the audience here is excited and proud and eager to hear what you're gonna do and the impact you're gonna make on the future. And like I said, I'm not going to keep you long, so I'm going to talk about one thing, and that is about gratitude. It's a simple, simple concept, and it often makes a difference in the world we live in. So thanks to the educators who helped you arrive at this moment in time. Thank you to the loved ones and parents and friends who might have once been the only ones that believed in you. Thanks to each one of you for devoting the time, effort, and energy required to educate and improve yourself. And thank you, most of all, for casting an eye on the future. The future is grand and a wonderful unfinished canvas that offers perpetual opportunity of renewal. In the future, hopes and dreams are wide and as large and as limits and the limits of imagination. In the future, the worries of the present have evaporated into the distant memories. And in the future, we will have a chance to shape and mold and impact our wonderful communities. You see, I believe with all of my heart and soul that each of you can help make a future come to life right here in Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm talking to you as a mayor now. 
<laughs> the elite education that you have received here at UAFS will allow you to compete anywhere in the world. But you should strongly consider making a massive difference here at home. We're not yet where we should be when it comes to higher wage and higher skilled jobs for a community of our size, but we are making progress. And with your help, we will arrive where we need to be. When I become your mayor next month, I will need the help and skills of everyone in this room, not only you, but the people sitting in these bleachers. The challenges we face and the burdens that we bear can only be met by the best and brightest that I can see right in this room tonight. In a dynamic and globalized economy, the most competitive cities find ways to retain, augment, and empower the education and diversity represented by the groups like the class of 2018. I promise that if you choose to stay, you will have, a numerous, you will have numerous opportunities to be involved in building the future of Fort Smith and this River Valley. I will not hesitate to seek your advice, listen to your wisdom, recruit you to serve on advisory boards or a policy commission, or even encourage you to run for office. Our region offers its residents the unique and wonderful chance to speak out and participate and make a difference. Our home craves for new leadership. It craves for new ideas and new doers who will make things happen and who will leave a lasting impact. My challenge to this outstanding class of 2018 is not to forget the town that trained you, educated you, and instead find ways to reinvest in the region that invested so much in you. I know that working together, we can create a new template of action that will be model, that will be a model of excellence to each and every class that comes after you. Every one of you here supporting you tonight is grateful that you chose to earn an education right here at UAFS. We are thankful that you have taken the time to invest in the future by continuing a tradition of academic excellence that has enriched the lives of countless people. Gratitude is a gift that once given continues to multiply and bear fruit. As long as ears are eager to hear it, lips are eager to speak it, never forget to be thankful for where you came from, for who helped you along the way, and to pay the gift of gratitude forward. Like I said, thank you for listening. Congratulations, and may God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor-elect McGill. As we proceed, please observe these three courtesies that show respect for all. First, a professional photographer will take a photograph of all graduates as they receive their degrees. Please do not come forward to take individual photographs so that we keep congestion to a minimum and allow the audience an unobstructed view. Graduates, please remember to stop for a photograph of me after you receive your diploma. Second, graduation from the university is a happy time for all of us. I ask that as the names of the graduates are read, show your pride in their accomplishment with appropriate reserve and dignity. Third, out of respect for the graduates and their families, please remain until all graduates have been recognized and the recessional is complete. And now, I call upon Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Georgia Hale, to come forward to present the candidates for their degrees. Will the Will the candidates for degrees from the University of Arkansas Fort Smith please rise? All graduates, please rise. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor Cerner, each candidate standing before you has completed a prescribed course of study defined by the faculty. The names of graduates graduating in absentia are listed in the program, but will not be read. A number of candidates have completed their studies with a grade point average of at least 3.6.
A number of the graduates <laughs> of the, uh, have completed their studies with a grade point average of at least 3.6 and are identified as academic honor students by the stole they wear. The honor status of each will be announced as their names are called. On behalf of the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, it is my pleasure and privilege to prevent, present these candidates for awarding of te technical certificates, associate degrees, baccalaureate degrees, and master's degree. Will the faculty of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith now stand to show concurrence? With the concurrence of this faculty and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the University of Arkansas System, I confer upon you your respective degrees with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Faculty and students, you may be seated. Wayne Womack the University Registrar will now come forward to assist in the presentation of diplomas. The graduates will be called forward by the Dean of their college. Dr. Ken Warden, Dean, College of Applied Science and Technology. Dr. Ashok Subramanian, Dean, College of Business. Dr. Paul Hankins, Dean, College of Communication, Languages, Arts and Social Sciences. Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean, College of Health Sciences. Dr. Ron Darbo, Dean, College of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Dr. Norm Dennis, Senior Associate Dean, College of Engineering, University of Arkansas, Fayetteville. The names of each graduate will be read by Brandy Weidman and Teresa Sparks, faculty members from the College of Health Sciences. A faculty marshal will lead each group from their respective college. I ask Dr. Carolyn Mosley, Dean of the College of Health Sciences, to summon our master's graduate for her for her hooding ceremony and to receive her diploma. The Master of Science in Healthcare Administration graduate is led forward to receive her diploma by the faculty marshal of the program, Dr. Cheryl Holden. Deidre Don Williams, Master of Science, Healthcare Administration. Please join me in applauding the graduate of the Master of Science and Healthcare Administration program. Thank you. The graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology are led forward this evening to receive their degrees by faculty marshal of the college, Professor Cameron McKinney. Earlier this semester, we lost a member of the UAF family. Jim Hoffman passed away last September in what would have been his graduating semester at UA Fort Smith. We are honored to award Jim's Associate of General Studies degree tonight. I would like to ask Jim's daughter, Sarah Key, and his brothers, Jeff, Jerry, and Roger, to please come forward and accept his diploma. Sarah, Jeff, Jerry, Roger, and other members of the Hoffman family, we extend our deepest condolences. Jim will be missed.
Andrew Thomas Bonin, Bachelor of Applied Science, summa cum laude. Justin Michael Moore, Bachelor of Science, Electro Electrical Engineering Technology, cum laude. Kimberly L. DeBar, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Benjamin Franklin Longley, Bachelor of Applied Science. Ray Ann Moore, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Alec Tyler Lawrence, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Stephanie Lynn Sebo, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Samantha Brianna Grant, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Brooke Nicole Arnold, Bachelor of Applied Science. Sunny P. Moe, Bachelor of Science, Electrical Engineering Technology. Deborah Gail Gaines, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tyler Ray Clark, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Megan Lavelle Burden, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Michaelin Alexis Lester, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Jacob Matthew Kasher, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Austin S. Lloyd, Bachelor of Science, Animation Technology. Jessica Faye Reed, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Tanner Douglas Wilkins, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Stephanie Marie Toby, Bachelor of Applied Science. Lois Renee Williamson, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Nayeli Sora Serda, Bachelor of Science Organizational Leadership. Amanda McClanahan, Bachelor of Science Organizational Leadership. Morgan Brianna Mongol, Bachelor of Science Organizational Leadership. Caitlin Nicole Hembry, Bachelor of Science Organizational Leadership. Justin Lopez, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Justin Garrett Barker, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership. Matthew Heinstone, Bachelor of, Bachelor of Applied Science. Melanie Roxana Morales, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Digital Design. Mablin Roxana Garcia, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Digital Design. Kelly Hackler, Associate of Applied Science, Legal Studies. KC Lynn Rogers, Associate of Applied Science, Legal Studies. Kai Yu, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management, Technology. Kai Yu Brianna Breeden Rogers. Sumora Elizabeth Vasquez, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Tony McDonald, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Shay Pongpa Chik, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Automotive. Hunter Engel, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Lewis Quincy Davis, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology Welding. Brandon Lee Uerman, 
Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Digital Design. Danielle Lee Ainsberg, Associate of Applied Science, Computer Graphic Technology, Architectural. Brady Olin Hicks, Associate of Applied Science, General Technology, Automotive. Erica Matamoros Osha, Associate of Applied Science, Office Management Technology. Drew Smith Intevong, Associate of Applied Science, Workship Leadership. Work Patricia Martinez, Technical Certificate, Workforce Leadership. Congratulations. Please join me in applauding the graduates from the College of Applied Science and Technology. The graduates from the College of Business are led forward to receive their degrees by the Faculty Marshal for the College, Dr. Ahmad Rahal. Jacqueline Esmeralda Enriquez, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Elaine Berkey, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Cum Laude. Casey Elizabeth Chancy, Bachelor of Business Administration, Cum Laude. Samantha K. Goebel, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting, Cum Laude. Jordan Marie Hatwig, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Alicia Nicole Metter, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting and Finance, Cum Laude. Kelsey Ann Reeves, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance, Cum Laude. Mackenzie N. Mulliken, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Landon Alexander Phillips, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. Holly Brianne Ring, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. Selena Irene Sanchez, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. Cambry Elizabeth Emert, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Melissa K. Altus Holland, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting. Brandon Alexander Keaton, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Troy Patrick Cahill, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Brett Jolly, Bachelor of Business, Business Administration, Business Administration. Brett T. McAllister, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Nicole Tui Lee, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Danny Dye Wynn, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. Ashton Merriman, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Effie Knowlton Lynn, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Business. Sarah Beth I.C. McLellan, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Aubrey Blaine Carpenter, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Business. Blaine Audrey Heath, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Emily Elizabeth Brown, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Business. Jesper Ockerlin, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Business, International Student from Sweden. Paul Viet Wong Nguyen, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance. James Allen Brown, Jr., Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Stephanie Ray Lyson, Bachelor of Business Administration, Accounting and Finance. Daniel Michael Laws, 
Bachelor of Business Administration Accounting. Ryan Matthew Green, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Business. Diane B. Law Lopez, Bachelor of Business Administration, International Business. Kenan Ray Dawes, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance and International Business. Tracy Jo Best, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance. Skylar Michaela Webster, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance. Riley L. Yandel, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance. Amanda Dawn Cravey, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. Kai Lee, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Megan Montana McGowan, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Keelan L. Henderson, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. James William Jackson, Bachelor of Business Administration, Marketing. Trevin James Tolliver, Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance. Garrett Ray Dix, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Mallory Peyton Finn, Bachelor of Business Administration, Business Administration. Please join me in applauding these graduates from the College of Business. The graduates from the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences are led forward to receive their degrees by the faculty marshal for the college, Dr. Ana Maria Romo Bla. Madeline Stacy Kinwada, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Alexandra Peyton Colazar, Bachelor of Science Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Michelle Medina Torres, Bachelor of Science Criminal Justice, Magna Cum Laude. Mariah Qualls, Bachelor of Arts Media Communication, Magna Cum Laude. Garrett Rogers, Bachelor of Arts, Media Commu Communication, Magna Cum Laude. Jocelyn Arara Scruggs, Bachelor of Arts, History, Magna Cum Laude. William Tyson McDougall, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Naomi Joy Pontiac, Bachelor of Arts, Theater, Cum Laude. Jessica Rachel Romo, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Hunter Lee Schmuck, Bachelor of Arts, English, Cum Laude. Sydney K. Smith, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice, Cum Laude. Carly Noel Townsend, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Michelle Diane Worsham, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. Justin David Martin, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Susan Ann Gaddis, Bachelor of General Studies. Marco A. Vasquez, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Paleta A. Prusif, Bachelor of Arts, English. Sherman Frank Miranda, Bachelor of Arts, English. 
Chelsea K. Brannon, Bachelor of Arts, English. Andrew Jacob Futter, Bachelor of General Science Studies. Tegan Kaylin Lindley, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jacqueline Whitney Crotz, Bachelor of General Studies. Christina Marie Lavelle, Bachelor of General Studies. Paul Daniel Bender, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Marina Hendrickson Nolan, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Cecilia Pula, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. Jacob R. Conrad, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Stephen Travis Walpole, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Michaela Ray Ann Cooper, Bachelor of Music Education. Caitlin Nicole Jones, Bachelor of Music Education, Cum Laude. Kaylin Renee Rhodes, Bachelor of Music Education. Amanda Marie Ebull, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Tristan Marie Brunson, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Devin Nicole Cronister, Bachelor of Arts, History. John Paul Gooch, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Connor Dwayne Appleton, Bachelor of Arts, History. Paula S. Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Rhetoric and Writing. Raquel Aeneas Elkins, Bachelor of Science, Spanish with Teacher Licensure. Kami Elizabeth Driscoll, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Robert Hutchins, Bachelor of Science, English with Teacher Licensure. William Cravey, Bachelor of General Studies. Emma Page Speaks, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Katina Gail Goff, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Savannah Lynn Bowling, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Jeffrey Dean Faust, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. With teacher licensure. Samantha Lynn Briggs, Bachelor of Arts, English. Jamie Scott Montoya, Bachelor of Arts, English. Ethan Guy Womack, Bachelor of Arts, Music. <laughs> Sophia Nathalia Gambio Lazarte, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Alexandria Osguera, Bachelor of Social Work. Haley Rachel Hart, Bachelor of Social Work. Sierra Dawn Jones, Bachelor of Social Work. Haley Lee Morris, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology.
Brianna Casey Carter, Bachelor of General Studies. Kaylee Denise Shepard, Bachelor of General Studies. Juan Francisco Pacheco, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Charlie Chu Yi Moya, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Jasmine Rubio Ortiz, Bachelor of Science, Graphic Design. Rocio Gonzalez Aruja, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Michael Rinaldo Cola, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Brittany Nicole Campbell Albertson, Bachelor of Arts, English. Kennedy K. Morton, Bachelor of General Studies. Andrew C. Yardley, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Darnishu, Darnisha F. Earhart, Bachelor of General Studies. Cody A. Harrell, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Austin Kyle Smithers, Bachelor of Science, History with Teacher Licensure. Linda Cher Vong, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Zachary Scott Denis, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Alex Clifton, Bachelor of General Studies. Emmanuel Lewis Pina, Bachelor of Arts, Media Communication. Brianna Nicole Morton, Bachelor of General Studies. Chelsea Suzanne King, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Micah Lee Stevens, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Chelsea Elizabeth Pixley, Bachelor of General Studies. Kristen Nicole Fagan, Bachelor of General Studies. Cassidy Lauren Dreyer, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. Samantha Bryn Martin, Bachelor of Arts, English. Ixa Rubio Garcia Ashton, Bachelor of Arts, Spanish. Bethany Julia Tate, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Brittany Tarpley, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Adonda Joy Minnie, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Okay. London Emily Biggerstaff, Bachelor of General Studies. Dalton Wade Sims, Bachelor of Arts, History. Samantha Michaela Robison, Associate of General Studies. Tommy N. Vorabooth, Associate of General Studies. Jonathan A. Romero, Associate of General Studies. Husu M. Hernandez, Associate of General Studies.
Kevin E. Berrientos, Associate of General Studies. Grant D. Mortensen II, Associate of General Studies. Alicia Ann Boyd, Associate of General Studies. Joseph R. King III, Associate of Arts. Susan Michelle Webster, Associate of General Studies. Matthew Tillman Jocelyn, Associate of General Studies, member of Kappa Sigma. Rachel Aline Bulger, Associate of General Studies. Heather Marie Yarbero, Associate of General Studies. Bailey Elizabeth Gillespie, Associate of General Studies. Michael Edward Sanifer, Associate of General Studies. Liliana Marie Gonzalez, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Desiree Marie Gans, Associate of General Studies. Gabrielle, Gabrielle, Lauren Brooks, Associate of General Studies. Jennifer Joanne Brammer, Associate of General Studies. Antonisha Jackson, Associate of General Studies. Please join me in applauding the graduates from the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. The graduates from the College of Health Sciences are led forward to receive their degrees by, uh, by the faculty marshal from the College of Health Sciences, Professor Casey Harmon. Amber L. Spies, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Magna Cum Laude. Brittany Marie White, Bachelor of Science, Nursing, Cum Laude. Destiny N. Ball, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Nikki S. Evola, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Cynthia Elise Gracia, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Bonnie Lynn Durling, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Tori Alexis Olar, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Margaret Catherine Smith, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Jamie Lee Ridgely, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Allie McKenzie Watson, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Stephanie Alexia Salazar, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Catherine Elizabeth Keene, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Pamela Deanne Archer, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. 
Thomas Jefferson Carter, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Shauna Leanne Sharp, Bachelor of Science, Dental Hygiene. Cassidy Lynn Hodgkins, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Deanna Rez Macias, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Michelle Reyes Macias, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Christina K. Reisenover, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Johnnelly Kirsten Koch, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Lauren Hope Brown, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Abby Lorraine Ledbetter, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Catherine Jasmine Castellanos, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Noemi, or Elizabeth Noemi Ruiz, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Jason T. Graham, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Caitlin Nicole Robinson, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Hillary Catherine Sanders, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Garrison Nicole Gray, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Brooke Michelle Burkhart, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Natalie Ann Nallen, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Nina Catherine E. Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Miguel Angel Salas, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Charles Dillon Brazil, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Jessica Clarice Phillips, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Kiri Kira Lache House, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Please join me in congratulating all the graduates from the College of Health Sciences. Good evening. The graduates from the College of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics and the School of Education are being led forward to receive the degrees by the Faculty Marshal for the College, Dr. Sarah Davis. Aaron Sonnenmoser, Bachelor of Science Information Technology, Summa Cum Laude. Amber Dawn Ziegler, Bachelor of Science Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Anna Carla Cruz, Bachelor of Science Elementary Education, Summa Cum Laude. Asher G. Parva, Bachelor of Science Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary Lewis Upchurch, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, Magna Cum Laude. Madeline Brooke Rose, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education, Magna Cum Laude. Brooke Nicole Wood, Bachelor of Science, Biology with Teacher Licensure, Magna Cum Laude. Trevor Allen Nixon, Bachelor of, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology, Cum Laude. Sarah Elizabeth Key, Bachelor of Science, Biology with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. Darcy Hannah Hayes, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics with Teacher Licensure, Cum Laude. 
Hannah Elizabeth Jenkins, Bachelor of Science Chemistry, Biochemistry, Cum Laude. Mamdo Hussan, Hussam Yasin, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Ryan Douglas Carlson, Bachelor of Science Biology, Cum Laude. Mallory Leanne Youngman, Bachelor of Science Elementary Education, Cum Laude. Emily Elise Haley, Bachelor of Science Elementary Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Leslie Ann Bremner, Bachelor of Science Middle Childhood Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Amy Denise Tuttle, Bachelor of Science Elementary Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Caitlin Yvonne Bruton, Bachelor of Science Elementary Education. Casey Kate Herod, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Nicholas Wayne Beam, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Tiffany Dawn Robinson, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Rachel Marie LaRue, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Jasmine Ashley Aaliyah Myers, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. John Tyler Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Ryan Dale Wynn, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education. Amanda Marie Reeves, Bachelor of Science, Middle Childhood Education. Brianna Weisenhunt, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Brittany Nicole Pina, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Harrison Alexander Hall, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Biochemistry. Laura Lee Davis, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Joshua Lee Gar, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Nathan Tyler Brown, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Robert Anthony Todaro, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Christian Allen Westbrook, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. <laughs> Jacob C. Perry, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Pedro Enrique Gutierrez, Bachelor of Science, Geoscience. Taha Mustafa Yasin, Bachelor of Science Biology. William Keith Montgomery, Bachelor of Science Biology. Paxton Diane Schmeely, Bachelor of Science Biology. Alexis Ann Harden, Bachelor of Science Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Marinella Zumudi, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Meredith Melia Williamson, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. 
Whitley Marie Nichols, Associate of Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. William Christopher Turnage, Associate of, Associate of Science, Engineering. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the College of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics and the School of Education. The graduates from the College of Engineering at the University of Arkansas Fayetteville are led forward to receive their degrees by the faculty marshal of the college, Professor David Albers. I'm proud to present these College of Engineering candidates who have completed requirements for a degree in either electrical or mechanical engineering. Their freshman and sophomore courses were UA Fort Smith courses. Their junior and senior level courses were UA Fayetteville courses taught on this campus. These students completed their engineering program through a partnership between the University of Arkansas Fort Smith and the University of Arkansas Fayetteville. Now, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority of the Board of Trustees, Chancellor Joseph E. Steinmetz has conferred upon each of you the degree indicated on your diploma with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Evan Kate Colzar, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Bailey Ann Stoll, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Chong Beat Lee, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Vincent Sam Salata, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Katie Elizabeth Morrison, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the College of Engineering. Graduates, please rise. I invite you to please move your tassels to the left side of your mortar boards. <laughs> Graduates. Please give a round of applause and thanks to the faculty and staff of the university in recognition of roles they have played in the attainment of your degrees. Now, graduates, would you give a round of applause and thanks to your parents, grandparents, spouses, and children for the encouragement, guidance, and love they have given you while you pursued your degrees. <laughs> Graduates, you may be seated. Christopher Cluck, Chair of the Alumni Advisory Council and a 2005 graduate of UAFS, 
will now greet and address the graduates as new members of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Cerna. Good evening. It's wonderful to be back on campus and to stand before the graduating class of 2018. I know that you're ready to take what you've learned, get in the world, and make a difference. Of course, that's what commencement means, and it's not that you've ended something, but that you're ready to start something. Today is really the beginning of the rest of your life. Still, you might feel a little nostalgic as you think about things you won't do anymore and the people you're afraid you won't see anymore. But congratulations, you are now part of the UAFS Alumni Association, and we can help you remain in contact with those you care about. You don't have to wait for the fifth or 10th anniversary reunion. The Alumni Association offers many events every year to allow you to stay connected and to make new friends. Alumni publications will keep you updated on what's happening on campus and with your fellow alumni. So whether you're staying in Fort Smith or moving out of the area, your Alumni Association will keep you up to date and provide you with personal and professional networking opportunities. But now we have one more important uh, piece of business. As you exited the stage, our Director of Alumni Affairs, Rick Goings, handed you a card with a pin attached. Will you please take that out and remove the pin? You'll see that the pin represents the bell tower on the campus green. Symbolically, it is both the center of the university and the highest point. When you look at the pin, we hope it will remind you of the time on campus and many things you experienced and learned here. I ask you now to please rise. Now attach the pin to the left side of your clothing right above your heart to show your solidarity with more than 47,000 alumni worldwide who are lions forever. Thank you. Please be seated. <laughs> Today, you join me and all the fellow alumni who proudly call UAFS West Ark of Fort Smith Junior College their alma mater. As the latest graduating class, you are heirs to the tradition of the first graduating class of 1928 who adopted the motto, Through Diligence to Victory. I hope you will wear this pin as you go about your daily lives and tell people about your time on campus and invite them to contact the university to learn about the opportunities it offers. If you find yourself talking to a fellow graduate who doesn't have a pin, pass your pin on and contact the Alumni Association on the corner of Grand and Waldron to get another one. Graduates of the era are invited to request pins by calling or emailing the Alumni Association or by stopping by the office. Once again, congratulations on your special day and welcome you to the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Alumni Association. Thank you, Mr. Cluck. We appreciate your words to our brand new alumni. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this evening at the Fall 2018 Commencement Ceremony. Commencement is a time for ending one period of your life and a time for beginning a new phase. Commencement is a time for celebration. I know you will take with you the knowledge and skills to excel in our modern and complex world. We take pride in your accomplishments and wish you success in the future. We will conclude this commencement ceremony with our alma mater. The words of the alma mater may be found on page 14 of your program. Following the alma mater, we request that you remain at your seats until the recessional is complete. Please meet your graduates outside. Please, ro please rise and join music graduate Ethan Womack as he sings the alma mater.
chair is at our side. Let our song ring out for the white and blue. To you, A. Fort Smith, we will ever be true. I declare this 100th commencement of the University of Arkansas Fort Smith adjourned.